Hey guys, we're back, and uh, today we're gonna disassemble the um, the um, down shafts, and this is actually the oil pump here. We're gonna pull that off too. But um, let's start here. First thing we want to do, we want to get a special tool here. It's got flats on it. And this is what's going to keep our balance shafts in time. And they're just a little bit out of time right now. Probably the motor's moved just a little bit since we just started working on it. So we're going to get you that on. And the balance shafts, we, do, well, we, we talked about the camshaft moving at half the engine speed. The, uh, the balance shafts move at twice the engine speed. So we have that little tool there to keep them in, in time. Um, it's not really necessary because we're going to be getting rid of those. But... Uh, um, it makes just uh, getting the thing off a lot easier, you know, getting, getting everything disconnected and unbolted. And you'll see, you'll see what I mean in a minute here. So let's get started here. Uh, first thing you want to do is pull this, this cover off. And I think there's some 8 millimeter bolts back here. Get that off. And of course, jam being jam, that's a 10 millimeter nut. And then we got an 8 millimeter. Um, bolt down below. So, take that off, off that. Here we go. And, and we got that this little cover. Just get rid of that. Alright, so that's gone. Alright, now this bolt right here, this bolt is key. I think that's 13 millimeter it is and this one is actually um, reverse thread so because of the direction the motor turns so they put a reverse thread bolt in there got a little bit of slack in the chain there it's not too bad though it's not the worst I've seen let's pull this this way there we go and I've seen stuff where you got to keep this in time and you know where the, the orientation of this um, this gear with the housing keep that in time I'm going to show you it's really not necessary as long as you keep these in time. I actually made one of these out of wood at one time. Uh, and it worked really good. So that's a reverse thread bolt. I don't confuse that with any of the other ones. So let's get a screwdriver. Pop this off here. Just to try to do it. And the reason why it doesn't have to be in time is because it's completely smooth. There's no keyways or anything like that. So that can go on anyway. Anyway. If you want to put these back together, so we got that. All right, uh, next will be the time to chain tensioner. Pop that off. Okay, and at this point, we can actually remove the, uh, the oil pump. So we're going to go back. To our trusty old 10 millimeter. And we got different length bolts, one shorter than the other three. So if you're going to be putting this back together, you want to keep an eye on that. And actually, we missed one, there's one down in there too. <laughs> good but I'm, I'm very interested to see what the oil pump looks like and uh, looks good no major scarring or anything nothing crazy pull that off these go together you can see how uh, how small the the veins are in that pump it's really little I mean it's it's able to keep up with the stock motor but nothing else that's for sure um, this goes in there it looks so in there and this is about maybe a third smaller than 2.3 oil pump so that tells you a lot right there that will be going into the scrap bin so uh, all right looking at it here we got the chain it's still hanging around the crankshaft we can't get the chain off until I actually pull the crankshaft that's not going to be the subject of this video but um, uh, we're just going to work on the the, uh, the balance shafts here 
So let's see if we can get, um, usually these don't come off too easy. You have to really torque on them to get them off. Maybe work them. And uh, there's a crazy weird tightening sequence with all these. Uh, and you have to keep changing the torque wrenches and or changing the torque of the torque wrenches as you kind of maneuver to put these back together. And um, it's kind of a pain. But um, the, other, the other thing I wanted to show you here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's a hole here. There's nothing in this hole yet. It's drilled and it's threaded. And if you've seen the, um, the balance shaft delete videos, um, you'll know that the oil pump, it sits on there and you don't have to re-drill any of the holes. You just have, uh, for, the, uh, for the mounting of the oil pump, you just have to drill the oil passages. And um, so I got to believe that GM wanted to be able to put the 2.3 pump on there, maybe for the racing program or something. But uh, uh, there's a, a bolt hole that's drilled and tapped and absolutely nothing was in it. And uh, this one here would be the other side of the 2.3 pump. So, so uh, I found that interesting. Why would they go through the process of, of doing that on a motor that's different than, than the 2.3, yet, um, you know, the bolt holes there and tapped. And uh, yeah, so maybe, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, that's 10. Let's get a couple of those out. See if we can get these 10 millimeters out here. That one. Oh, so at this point, we can get rid of our tool here because these can turn, and we don't have to worry about that pumping in anything like that. It's not engaged with the crankshaft at all, so we're all good. Now there is. I really need to make a chopped out chopped power dispenser for up underneath the cabinet, make things a lot easier. Maybe I can do that over the weekend or something. So um, there is something to be aware of whenever you do these. And, um, I'm going to have to ruin this screen. You can pry them out, but they're they are a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to. And there's a hidden bolt underneath. Again, thanks, Gia. Uh, sometimes I praise them, sometimes I curse them. Okay, get that bolt out. Now, so we had the eight millimeter, we had the ten millimeter, and now we move up to the fifteen millimeter. And uh, you can see how uh, whenever if you're um, if you're putting one of these back together with the um, yeah, 13 millimeter, what did I say? Did I say 15? I think I said, I said 15, but these are 13, I believe. Yeah. So we have 8, 10, 13. Um, so we broke those free. Then we got this one, which is uh, 18. <laughs> so uh, I was gonna say, um, besides you know changing the torque, and as you move through these to torque this thing down, um, you know in your torque wrench you have to ch keep changing the torque. You also have to keep changing socket sizes. So um, when I do one of these with the the balance shaft, I usually um, use two torque wrenches and then you don't have to mess around so much you just gotta change sockets a lot all right let's just get this one out of there and this one here goes down through here into into the block right below where the uh, oil filter mounts and um, it's actually if you don't Put something back in that hole if you do the delete on this and you don't put something back in that hole you have a massive oil leak internally inside the motor that and now if I can find my 13 millimeter socket we'll pull these out all right now 
believe, oh, we got one there, we forgot about that one. And that is a 15. <laughs> so we got eight, 10, 13, 15, and 18. So I uh, never, <laughs> never ceases to amaze me. There we go. I think we're going to use a uh, breaker bar extension on that because the ratchet's bumping into this housing here. It's not really letting me get onto the, onto the bolt square. So let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. That's a lot easier. All right. And I think I have a. Uh, I thought I had a. Yeah, let's try 15 millimeter. I know of an 18 millimeter here. There's a 13. And that's the half inch for the gear cooler. And this one here. Let's use this. After I'm done with this, I'll uh, take a break. We're going to get some parts organized and, and um, we'll uh, get all of our tools cleaned up, and clean the floor up. And, we got everything on the pan, but a little bit did spill over onto the floor here. So we'll get that all cleaned up, and then we don't have to work in, in filth, which is no fun. Makes the car hobby a lot less fun. All right, there we go. Could always use that somewhere. Okay, let's see here. Now, just give this a little tap. And this whole shebang comes off. There we go, just like that, and there's our rods and pistons. So while we have this here, what we could do possibly is um, we could pull the housing apart and show you the belly shafts. So uh, maybe we can do that. Since I'm not worried about hurting it, we're just going to use the regular hammer here. Said these things spin at twice the engine RPM. So uh, you can imagine if you're turning 6,000 RPMs, these would be turning 12,000 RPMs in the oil pan, submerged in oil. You can imagine what, what that would look like or sound like. But holy smokes. Uh, they're geared so they're counter rotating, and this um, actually counteracts a lot of the noise, vibration, and harshness that these motors are, are known for because um, uh, there's what's called a secondary engine balance. And um, as these kind of roll around, you can see the kind of the weight of them will keep, keep them turning there. And um, um, there's a video on that if you type in uh, secondary engine balance, um, Engineering Explained has a real good video on that and uh, explains about all that but they actually have replaceable bearings in these which they look like brand new so clean it up and see if we can show you that on camera let's see here let's get the photo look how clean that is i mean that spent its life turning twice the engine rpm look at that now um uh, they do turn to twice the engine RPM, but because the bearing is so small, uh, you don't see a lot of uh, speed on the bearing. So, um, you know, where the crankshaft might be turning 6,000 RPMs, um, this is turning 12,000, but because the, um, the distance it has to travel to spin is so short, uh, you get a lot less bearing speed. You know, if, uh, I think that's what they call it, that uh, the speed that the bearing sees as the, the shaft is turning in size. So, um, yeah, little, just little wee ones. And then uh, we pull these out, make a nice, nice paperweight <laughs> kind of conversation piece, hang them up on your wall. Um, it does smooth the motor out, and, uh, uh, you know, it may even help with uh, um, 
maybe uh, the motor, be, you know, being that the motor runs smoother, it maybe helps with uh, with horsepower a bit. Um, you know, being that it runs smoother, but just turning the weight of them uh, kind of takes horsepower away. So um, the, there's a real benefit to getting rid of them uh, horsepower wise. But really, whenever you do these these uh, Bell shaft conversions or your oil pump conversion, I guess you call it the bell shaft elite, get rid of this and then you do an oil pump conversion. Um, the real reason to do that is to get the 2.3 oil pump on there. That's that's the main reason. So I've, I've run these motors with the balance shafts and uh, I've won a race with them, so uh, never really really had any trouble with that. But uh, while we've got you on camera here, let's, let's detach the camera and give you a close up of this. A lot of people have never seen these. So we got, um, this is the, the top half of it. You can see the oil channel where it feeds the, the bearings. And uh, yeah, it just sits in there. And then this is the uh, the bottom half. You can see where, uh, let's see here, where is that? Uh, right here, there's an oil feed hole. And the oil goes along. And uh, there's a oil drain back hole here, I believe. Or this might be the feed hole and that might be the drain back hole, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, let's take a look at this housing again. Let's grab this, and we got the, those passages match, and then um, the oil would come up through here. No, that's a bolt hole. Yeah, I'm not sure. Boy, I used to know these things really good, but it's been so long since I messed with them. So, anyway, thought you'd like to see it. Here it is. So uh, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe, leave a comment, and. Um, Next time, uh, next time you see this, we're going to be pulling the uh, the pistons and rods out, and we're going to remove the crankshaft. We're going to do that all in one video. It's going to be cool. See you next time, guys.